Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the effective length of the column. That what is the effective length and how we can determine the effective length for the different types of the column. So we will start here with the help of an examples and different kinds of the column. So then it will be easy to follow the effective length of the column. So if I consider here from left side, if I consider the column which on one end it is supported with pin end and the other end it is also supported with pin ends. For example, you see here this is a pin end and also it is also a pin end. So when I apply the load on such type of column, for example, this is P and the load is applied from top of this column, what will happen? The column due to the pin ends, the column whole length will be deformed like in this way in literal deformation or I call it buckling because the column will show some deformation in the literal direction which is known as the buckling of the column in this case now the effective length is the if this if this is the original length of the column so effective length is equal to the total length in this case the whole length of the column is buckled because of the two pin ends so in this case this length i define it with another constant k and it will be equal to the effective length divided by the total length so in this case the effective length is also equal to l and total length is also equal to l so it will become it will cancel it will become one so k is one in case of the pin ends columns and both ends are pin ends then the effective length of the column effective means the length of the column which is being buckled is equal to the original length and in this case k will be equal to 1 now let's go further and it will be more easy to understand now let's consider another column with a pin end and with a fixed end so here you see a fixed end here you see a pin end if i apply the load p here on this column so now what will happen the column will start deformation from this in here but it will go like this like this and will go like this so the whole length of the column is not buckled but only this length is buckled l e effective length now effective length is th in this case is equal to the 0 0.7 times l which is not total length so in this case why because we have fixed support here so in this case k will be equal to the 0 0.7 effective length total length divided by l so it means 0 0.7 because the total length of the column is not buckled in this case because of the fixed support here now what is the another case is the fixed in in fixed in column in which both ends of the column are fixed you see here so in this case the deformation of the column or the buckling of the column will look like this and only the half of the column will be buckled so 0 0.5 into l so l e in this case is equal to 0 0.5 into l so k will be equal to the effective length divided by original length k is 0 0.5 into l divided by l so it will be equal to 0 0.5 in this case so there are different scenarios of the column and accordingly the column will buckle now the last one is the fixed in column and also the free in column on the other side. You see here there is no support provided on this end. So what will happen in this case when the load is applied on the column for example P here was also P. So what will happen now in this case the column will the column will buckle from here it will go like this the total length effective length in this case effective length in this case l e will be equal to the 2 times l if this is the original length then it will be equal to 2 times l so k will be equal to the effective length l e divided by l l e will be equal to the 2 times of length so divided by the original length it will be cancelled so k is equal to the 2 in this case so for different kinds of column, for example, for pin in column we have 1, for fixed in and pin in column we have 0 0.7, and for fixed in and fixed in column we have k is equal to 0 0.5, and fixed in free in we have k equal to 2. 
So for different conditions or the different fixed support, different uh, support condition of the columns, we have different constant and this constant define the effective length of the column. Hope you guys understand the today topic and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.